morning, ladies and gentlemen of the pan fishing world, and to an extent, the entire fishing world. I wanted to talk for a little bit this morning on the way to work about back reeling versus drag. It's a pretty big topic that a lot of people uh, have recently have started talking about. You know, it was something that kind of went without saying for a long time. There weren't a lot of people that really discussed the topic. So, I've seen the benefits of both. I think that if you are a back reeler, which there's nothing wrong with that, that it is a mistake to lock your drag on a spinning reel and be a back reeler. I know you're turning the the anti-reverse off and using the, the handle, the back reel, I get that, but the problem with that is, depending on the strength of your line, if you're back reeling, you're still going to get force on the spool, and you can still break your line. This is one of the primary reasons why I stopped back reeling, because that's how my dad taught me on a spinning reel. And I started using the drag and the rod. Now, I don't concern myself so much with the line itself as I do with the amount of parabolic, the amount of tip action, and the smoothness of the drag of the reel. I do not also place as much importance on the strength rating of the drag as I do as to how adjustable and smooth the drag is. Because for me, my opinion, because anything in fishing is really subjective opinion, it's what you what you prefer. Uh, yeah, there's hardcore facts, but opinion is a big part of it, and we are all very opinionated. But we can be unset in our ways and learn new things. For me, I I like to fight a fish by uh, a uh, dance of control, so to speak. I don't like to have my drag horribly tight, but I don't like to have it all that loose either. I like to use a combination of the drag when it's necessary, when the fish pulls hard, and then the bend of the rod for control for bringing the fish in <coughs> and wearing it down. And it's been insanely successful for me. It's worked very well for a very long time. So, uh, it's just the way that I do it. I, I really had um, lots of hard times with back reeling. You know, my dad's whole philosophy was that you had to, to uh, pull them by the seat of their pants, so to speak. Like, lock that, that, uh, lock that drag down boy and, and let him have line when he wants it and then pull him like Thor's hammer the rest of the time. He literally told me shit like that. And, uh, you know, I really, uh, I took it to heart at first, but then I started thinking about it and I, I thought, I'm like, well, now wait a minute, you know, like I don't have any drag whatsoever, you know, and keep in mind, I mean, I was like 70 years old and, uh, I still was like, does that allow the line to have a better chance of breaking? But to him and to a lot of people that back real exclusively, they believe that if they turn the handle backwards and give the fish line, that they're never going to have any stress on the line to a point where it's going to break. I'm sorry, I, I don't believe that. I've had it break on me a fair amount of times, and that's why I stopped. I have a much better experience with taking a good drag, which doesn't have to be on that expensive reel, and a good action rod to bring about a good fight to the fish and get the fish. So that's how I handle it. And um, I'd like to see what kind of opinion other people have, really. Because uh, I know there's a lot of them. So tell me what you think. I'd, I'd be interested. I My philosophy is smooth drag and, and a good rod to keep the fight uh on your side and still give the cat the fish uh, somewhat fair chance.